everyone and welcome to the SciTech Science Lab. My name is Mita and today I'm going to make some things disappear. What's that you say, Mita? You're going to make some things disappear? That sounds a little bit more like magic than science. Well, as it turns out, lots of the magic tricks that you see are actually really cool science happening behind the scenes. Do you want to look at one today? All right. So for this experiment, we're going to need some water, a clear container. This one's made out of plastic, but yours can be Pyrex if you want. Some glass items. I'm going to use test tubes because I'm in a lab, but you can use anything you can find at home. Just be aware that the type of glass you use might change this a little bit. Then we're going to need some glycerin. Now glycerin might not be something that you have lying around at home, so you can use any kind of oil, vegetable oil, instead. And just to keep things a little bit less messy, I've got some tongs and just some regular dishwashing gloves that you can choose to use or not. None of what we're doing today is going to be dangerous for you at all, but if you want to keep things a bit neater, that's an option. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to try with our water. So what I want to do is to make my glass disappear. Now, when I put my glass into my water in my clear tub, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think you'll still be able to see it or do you think it'll be invisible? Make your prediction and we'll try it out. Can you still see it? Yeah, me too. Hmm. Let's turn it on its side though and see what happens. Now, if you look at the point at which the water and the air touch, you might notice that our test tube looks like it's got a crack in it and it's shifted off to the side. That's because of something we call refraction. So when light travels through a medium or a material, it actually moves at a certain speed. And that speed changes depending on what the material is. So light traveling through air moves faster than light traveling through water and light travelling through water moves faster again than light travelling through glass. You can imagine it's like you running a race. You're going to be a lot faster if you're running through air than if you're running through water. And imagine how slow you'd be trying to run through a sea of glass. I don't recommend it. So, when light changes speed, it bends a little bit. And so when it bends, it hits your eyes and it makes it look like the object that it's moving through is in a slightly different place when it's in a different medium. This might change if we fill our test tube with water. Should we find out? All right. Did that disappear? Hmm, not yet. What I can tell you is that light has a different refractive index in water as it does in glass, and it's different again to air. But what if we try with a different liquid? Let's see what happens when we use the glycerin. So as it turns out, Pyrex glass has almost the same refractive index as glycerin does, which means that light moves at almost the same speed when it's traveling through glycerin as when it's traveling through Pyrex. So now what do you think will happen when I put the test tube in the liquid? Make your predictions and we'll test it out. Can you still see it? Yeah, me too. Now that's because the test tube here is still filled with air. So even though the light is moving at the same speed through the glycerin as it is through the glass and not refracting or bending, it is refracting or bending when it hits the air inside the test tube. It speeds up. So what do you think will happen when we fill our test tube with the glycerin? Make your predictions and let's find out. Whoa! Just like magic! Now you can see that the test tube has almost completely disappeared. You might still be able to see the outline really faintly, and that's because the refractive index of glycerin and of glass are not exactly the same, but it's similar enough to fool most of us. Let's see what happens when we take it out. Did 
There's one. Hold on a second. There's another one. Do you remember how many test tubes we had in here? Three, four, but I only put one in. Hmm, now that really does seem like magic, doesn't it? It's not though. See if you can figure out what we did at home. See if you can try this again with your family and friends. Like I said, you can use vegetable oil and you can use any kind of glass you can find at home. Just do some experiments and test out what works. They'll be really impressed with your knowledge of refractive indexes and your ability to make stuff disappear. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mita and we'll see you again soon at SciTech.